Good morning, this is David from This Is Galveston. This morning I'm gonna take you uh, with me and show you where I get some of my iconic shots. 61st Street is a great place for uh, surf photography. Next spot that I'm going to, I'm gonna slow down over here by Kroger. Honestly, that's Kroger parking lot. I've taken a lot of good shots from here. And bathrooms, you know. I'm gonna speed along the convention center and the San Luis Hotel and slow down right around here where the 1900 uh, store memorial is. Um, it, it's kind of situated in a funky spot, so you have to be a little inventive with your composition. That little platform is great for putting people up there um, and taking some pretty cool shots. All right, we're coming up on Academy and Salsa. So generally, I don't stop here unless I, um, there's a person riding a skateboard or somebody that looks particularly good running. Keep it on going. Ben and Jerry's, Papa's Pizza, 43rd Street Pier, right there to your right. Oh, another good surf spot. Um, good parking. Hospitality ER. Mr. Taco here to your left. It's a good place to eat. Now look at these condos up here. I love this, especially after it rains because you get the reflection uh, of the clouds. Here's another spot right around here where you can get some nice shots of people riding bikes or motorcycles or whatever. 37th Street is what we're coming up to right now. Another good place for uh, surf photography. Now, look at the seawall right here. You can see there's less signs, less trash cans. So, good place for street photography. I'm gonna speed up right here, but this whole area is really good for, for shooting people on the seawall. Next thing is, right over here to the left is the poop deck. I've gotten one of my most iconic shots right there. This whole area is really good for just all kinds of photography. I usually park right here if I'm going to be shooting uh, something, a shot with a pleasure pier in the background. Come up, coming up here near the float bar, which is that to your left, uh, Marlo sets up her uh, Gulf Coast uh, SUP stand-up paddle, and uh, Kathleen will do yoga, yoga havens, yoga on the beach uh, in the summer, kind of right around here. Next thing is the Pleasure Pier. I'll get some shots right here because it's just generally a lot of people, interesting people doing things. Uh, now look, the Pleasure Pier. A lot of photographers know this, that shade um, you, you need <laughs> for, for a beach shots right underneath the Pleasure Pier. A lot of um, commercial photographers will take family uh, photo sessions right here. I'm going to slow down right here by Murdoch's. If you take a left right here, um, you can go to, um, it'll lead you to the uh, Lolokai and the Galson Island Running Company. Now we're passing the Galvez. All this is really nice for street photography. Miller's right there is a good place for a breakfast. Now as we start closing in, right around where it start, the seawall starts bending, you, this is my prime location for for sunrise shots. Right around Saltgrass to Benos. Look how beautiful these shots turn out. There's La Quinta. Here goes Texadelphia and Benos. Right where it bends right here. If, if you don't want to go out on the beach but you want to take sunrise pictures, this is the place. There's a bathroom up here. Look at this. Just great shots that you can uh, take of runners. All right, now you see all that vegetation on the right. I generally just pass up this area. It's in the, between the power lines and the parking and the vegetation right there, um, I can never make the foreground come out the way I want to, so I just pass all this up. I'm slowing down right here because that's Mario's restaurant. You guys have to try that buffet. It's cheap and it's good. Going to slow down one more time. This is the McDonald's. Um, grab something, uh, uh, just a snack right here. You don't want to ruin your appetite, but just something to kind of keep the hunger, um, you know, from taking over. So I'm going to, all this stuff to the right, all this vegetation, the power lines, I generally just pass all this stuff up. I don't find it interesting uh, as a, like a place to take photos. 
That's Stewart's Beach, by the way. All right, coming up, I'm going to slow down. Look at this truck going to the left. That's going to the ferry. Um, the ferry uh, is a pretty cool place, you guys. It's free, but uh, for sure, don't go on with your car. It'll take forever. Park in the parking lot. This right right here will take you to a cool little beach pocket park. All of this vegetation to the left, um, all kind of little migratory board, birds will uh, come here in the spring. You see that embankment to the left? This area of the seawall is called Cherry Hill. Uh, it's a makeout place, or it used to be. Um, come in the morning. I wouldn't come any other time except for in the morning because there's way less traffic. And um, I think it's just, it's just nicer in the morning. Now you see that water to your right. That is uh, the East um, East Lagoon Beach. What is it called? The the Lagoon Preserve. I love this little area. Look how look how beautiful uh, the shots come out with the sun rising in the background. You come along this area right here at the very end. That's the ship channel, and you can see the uh, ships lining up to go up up to Houston. All right, it's going to come to a stop, and I, I'm going to take a right. But if you want to go uh, forward and park in that little area, you can get some beautiful shots there. Like that one. But I'm going to take a right, and I'm going to follow. This is called Boddicker Road. You can see the lagoon to my right now and the, the ship channel to my left. I'm slowing down right here because I want to show you this spot. This little area is a great area for fishing. Fortunately, everybody knows this, so if you get there early or during the middle of the week, that's the time to go fishing on an outgoing tide. <laughs> Tell you all my secrets. All right, bunch of little spots right here where you can take some uh, nice photos. I'm going to speed through here, though. And then look, I'm taking the middle of the road because if you take on the side, there are huge potholes, and I swear they'll swallow your whole car. Um, this little parking area is a nice little place for photos, too. Coming up in just a little bit, you'll see one little area of the water to the left. Let me see. And that. A lot of shore birds will kind of congregate. There you go, to the left. And you can park on this shoulder of the road right there. Get some nice shots. Now this right here, I'm just going to speed through. But at the end of this road, you'll see a, like a toll booth. And uh, if, if somebody is there... There's a free parking right before you get to the toll booth. I would do that. It's maybe about 200-yard walk um, to the beach. I'm not one for paying tolls, so. But at this time, 6.30 in the morning in the winter, you're not going to get and see the parking lot over there to the left. But there's nobody at the, the toll booth right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this toll area, and I'm going to take an immediate left. I'm going to follow the tire tracks. These tire tracks go to uh, another little parking area. Coming up on the left, you will see the, what's it called, the Galston uh, Horse and Pony Rides. That's where they take off from those stables. All right, I'm going to keep on going. Now look, I'm going to tell you, this place can get a little sketchy in that if it's too dry, then the sand will become very loose. And if it's too wet, um, puddles will form. Either way, you're going to get stuck. This is a couple of days after the rain, and usually the, the sand is real hard packed. I've seen a lot of cars get stuck out there, so be careful. This area right here, I think, is the best beach on Galveston. It's the easternmost tip of the island, and uh, you can see the ship channel right there, and, and to my right is the, the gulf. Lots, lots of shorebirds. Uh, just interesting things. Um, if the sky, and there you go, if the sky, and um, it, it, if it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be most beautiful at this spot. The, the tide will, will rise and fall over here, and it will scour out um, like holes around this structure that I'm going to show you. This is the South Jetty, and the South Jetty protects this ship channel from the currents. Uh, moving all the sand there. They do dredge this channel, but I, I think it'd be far worse if they didn't have this jetty. This structure, what is it, like two or three miles long? Part of it is paved. It all is kind of dangerous. I, I wouldn't go out there <laughs> unless, unless you knew what you were doing. 
Um, so here's some of the shots I've taken. Love this little area. The sky is just wonderful. I'm going to give you a, a 360 view in just a second. And you can see you, uh, at night it's super dark. Uh, in the morning, this this water catches the reflection. Uh, it, it catches and reflects the, the colors in the sky. But it is a cool place for walking. It's not a swimming beach, so do not, don't go in deeper than your ankles. And you can see right around the structure, it gets a little deeper in spots. So be very careful out here. But it can be wonderful. Okay, thanks for accompanying me on this journey. You guys have a great day. Bye.